I'm just stunned by the stack. I just can't get those out of my head. I see the red, white, and blue stacks driving up the West Side Highway. It was state of the art. Everything about her was pristine. The SS United States stood out as a, a symbol of what was stable and good and right with America. It would be a tragedy if this American triumph were allowed to disintegrate. There was something about that ship that made it bigger than life. She was the future. She was the now and the future. At the end of the Second World War, America was basking in this golden sunlight of having been the victor of the war, the great genius nation that had produced uh, 2,500 Liberty ships and bombers and bullets and steel and the production that was unparalleled in the history of the world. And so that by building this ship, the United States, the ship, was the symbol of the genius of America. Originally designed with top secret military applications in case of another world war, the SS United States instead proved to be a peaceful symbol of our nation's strength. The ship was really this triumphal expression of America's post-war abilities. The ship represented a culmination of a lifelong dream for its designer, William Francis Gibbs. Gibbs, a self-taught naval architect and engineer, combined ingenious design with advancing new technologies to create the fastest, safest, finest passenger ship in the world. He's an example of somebody who had a dream and worked a lifetime, really, to achieve it. On her maiden voyage, she sliced through the North Atlantic at nearly 36 knots, smashing the transatlantic speed record long held by Britain's Queen Mary, a monumental achievement that bestowed international prestige on the United States of America. The United States was so popular in the 50s and early 60s that, like many passengers, celebrities wanted to be on the most distinctive ship. So you had movie stars from A to Z, you had European royalty, you had ex-President Eisenhower and Truman, you had the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. People wanted to be on that ship. For almost two decades, she was the pinnacle of the gilded age of transatlantic travel. But for all her luxury, speed and power, she was steaming head-on into a new era of transportation. We felt that the SS United States would be there forever. We just had no idea that one day that era would be gone. A superliner created on the cusp of an evolutionary change in culture and technology. A world transitioning too fast for the fastest liner on the seas. What would become of this venerable flagship her loyal crew, and her devoted passengers. Through the voices of those who love her, journey with us on The Big U, the story of the SS United States. In my heart, I'm still in love with her, as is everybody whose lives have touched the SS United States. I, I sailed on the United States. I loved it from the first time. And uh, that was the only one I wanted. Boy, could it be any better than have a beautiful June day and sail to Europe on the United States? I think it couldn't be better, could it? Those gorgeous funnels and the wind blowing in your face and passing the Statue of Liberty in the New York City skyline and knowing you're crossing to Europe on the fastest, safest, finest ship in the world.